can walk over up to the flea market there. There's lots of girls to look at. And comic books. Yeah, there is comic books, but I don't know if you're going to find any girls reading comics, maybe. At least I'll find comic books. I know there is comics. one thing there I'll be able to find and take home with me tonight. Aren't you ever disappointed in all the women in the world out there who, and pretty women, who want absolutely nothing to do with us? We're difficult people. Difficult? I guess we're difficult. How do you think we're difficult? Well, um, we don't have women. That sounds difficult, but also kind of easy. I mean, I think when when I've had women, it's been more difficult. How about for you? Yes, women can be difficult. Women can be easy. But comic books are always there. Yeah. All right, Ken. I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, I'm not that into comics, really. You make me laugh. What, you what? come over to my house, you read my comic books, you want to know what's going on with Spider-Man. Yeah, and I have caught you staring at Mary Jane. Well, you know, I, I would stare at Mary Jane if she were, you know, real. I'm not, I'm, I've never jerked off to any of the comic book women that I think even, you know, even Dazzler. You know what day comic book day is. Actually, I really don't know what comic book day is. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You're always welcome at my house, but you're especially welcome on the days I have a fresh stack of comic books from Midtown Comics. I really don't know what day. It's Fridays? No. It must be Wednesday because I never can get a hold of you on Wednesday. It is Wednesdays. Wednesdays is new comic book day. You know, look, here's the truth of the matter is I admit that I like coming over reading the comics, but I don't really want people to know. It's time for you to come out of the closet. I don't think so. I still want to get laid. I still want to get laid too. Let's see if we can meet some women. Let's go. I have very pleasant memories of getting laid. Yeah, you know, I think I do better cat than you. No, I think I okay. Uh, I think we, I think that was just settled. Cat what the hell you. did you do to yourself? You know, uh, I was gonna make up a story as to what I did. The truth of the matter is, I just woke up, and you know, we're we're just getting at that age. You know, you're hobbling. I'm hobbling because you're hobbling. No, you're hobbling. You're Look, not hobbling. Okay, hey, I'm not. I'm not hobbling. You know what? You're still hobbling, my friend. You just, you know, you just think you're not hobbling because you've been hobbling for so long, but you don't realize that you just hobble everywhere you go. You know, the thing is, everything is what you make of it. So, okay, let's ask me why I'm hobbling. Why are you hobbling? I woke up this morning and I kicked her out of bed and, well, I hurt my ankle. Uh, have to have like a scripted thing that's you. ridiculous man. that's just so obnoxious and and not cool and it's not even true no it's certainly how, not how true i don't expect anyone how, to believe how, it but just, at least it's a you just sound like an idiot when you say something like that. just the fact that you think that's funny is ridiculous how did we ever become friends you know what that just really hurt Yeah, I really believe the title of that book. No, but you see, you're missing the point, Ken. You know, can you stop looking at the comics for a minute? Is there anything good in there? Buddy? I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. But no, the point is that, you know, a book like this. Hey, how you doing? Hey, all right. You sell a lot of these? Yeah, yeah. How much is this? Uh, five bucks. Just take a book like this, right? I bet even if you just took this book to a bar, just hung out and was like, 
reading it at the bar and, and like reading across to a girl, I bet it would be actually a way. The book itself, the whole thing about irony and all these, these Williamsburg girls, the irony of bringing a book like this to the bar and reading it to them would actually maybe get you laid. Yeah, yeah. The Williamsburg girls really love irony. If I brought this book to a bar with me, I certainly wouldn't be alone, because I'd have this book. Look, when when people are buying this book, it's a good seller for you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Great. Best seller. And, and see what I mean? And, and the people aren't actually thinking that it's going to be help them get laid in a bar. Well, it just depends on how big of losers you are, Come on, you know that people are just like buying it as a joke, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Five bucks. I think I think we should do it. And then we'll go to a bar. five bucks. Your five bucks. All right, my friend says three bucks. Three bucks are right. No, no, no. I, I need I need five for that. That's a that's a classic. There. How about you have a stack of these books? I used to. Everybody's loving them. They're hilarious. You know, it's it's worth five. Just give me five. About four. four bucks. No, no, no. I need five. Do you have success in bars with one? I don't. I don't need. I don't need the book. Yeah. What, what's what's your technique for <laughs> for bars and women? and women? Well, you just you don't you don't drink as much as they drink. And, you know, keep make, keep buying them drinks. Make sure they keep drinking. You know, they're all lubricated up by the booze there. It's not that hard. But you know, you guys, you might need some some extra help that the book could offer. You know, like, this is the last copy of this book. He says it's a big seller for him. What if we just took this book and just, like, skimmed through it, but wrote our own version, even though we're terrible at in bars. And we, and, and we, you know, and then we would just, like, come here to this blue market and sell copies of our own book. Uh, yeah, to pick up would... women in bars and, you know, maybe, maybe have pictures of Williamsburg girls or Williamsburg bars in here. You know, kind of updated, you know kind of refine it. I think we could really sell a lot of copies of books. And I mean, we, look, how, look how big they are. Uh. Listen, listen you're, you're talking about rewriting this damn book, but yet it, and possibly bringing in all this money, and you're not willing to give me the five bucks for it? This, this is ridiculous. So what's your technique for picking up women? I already told you. Here, just, yeah. just give it no, back. No, no, we'll give you the five bucks on it. I've, I've, I've heard enough of this bullshit. It, not even five bucks. I won't sell it to you. I just, I'll write. I'll write this damn book myself. What do you mean? Sick of you guys. Sell? I'm trying to close up here. Just buy some comics. Keep reading the comics there. Just write this book myself. See you later. Fine. Be that way. All right, let's go. Is it Cassius that it's promised to? Uh, I'm not at liberty to hold that information, but yeah. I, I'm here to pick it up for him. Oh, um, all right, yeah, that's fine. This is, this is, uh, this is Ken over here. Ken's, Ken's gonna help me. Uh... Ken, look. So we're here to pick up all the all the uh, cases. Okay. Um, Come, Ken. I'll sell them at the usual price. Oh, great, thank you. 
people get refunds? No, final sale. Yeah, they're going out of business here. I'm sorry to hear that. It happens. Yeah. It seems like you're in pretty good spirits, though, overall. Yeah, you know, drugs. <laughs> Oh, Ken, Ken, don't go nowhere. Here, just grab this. Not that, the whole crate. Has it been selling a lot? Uh, uh, a lot of books in the flea market? Uh, selling them. I really don't, you know, I'm just doing him a favor. Where are they going? Just, uh, hold on, let me just pay it. You know, I, I like the song, I just was, uh, I just needed to talk to you. I see, uh-huh. Where'd you get these? Like, really, really I'm just kidding, they look good, they look good. Get out of here, get out of here. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thank you very much. And grab these two. Let's get out of here. How about that? The guy wanted to charge us five bucks. Now we got his whole stash. Revenge is sweet, my friend. Revenge is sweet. Revenge is sweet, but I don't know what reading a hundred of them is going to make a difference reading one of them. And somehow, how does see meaning women in bars? No. Don't you understand? We hold the whole cachet of these books now. We're going to go back to them and sell them. We're going to show them that we got, that we bought them all. Okay. All right.